damaged and no longer useful. He was resigned to suffer alone without pain relief or the most basic humane care. People had found him in a strip mall. He was abandoned and really suffering, standing you know, for several months in that backyard without proper food. The dog was lunging on a chain and just kept lunging on his chain. And he was really scared and he couldn't see out of his left eye. And uh, uh, there wasn't a gate. There was just a small little access um, from the driveway into the backyard. And he just didn't want to walk through it. I think we bring with us a calmness, even if we're not feeling ter terribly calm inside, and a confidence. And I do think that that instills trust in horses. different horse jumped off the trailer when we got home. Lo and behold, we have a stallion. I need a, I need a, I need a chain, please. Like right away. For Mikkel, it's a very different story. Um, consider the fact this poor horse had been isolated for months. No equine companionship at all. And all of a sudden he's right smack dab in the middle of a hundred horses, 50 of which are mares. This friend certainly has been injured. It looks like he's had a blunt horse trauma to his left eye. It's clearly um, blind. He came with a list of challenges that needed to be attended to right away. I mean, this horse's eye, he's been through enough. Yes. So we're gonna give him a local, uh -huh. be as comfortable as Thank he can you. be. And also, I think it'll allow him to stay down longer mm -hmm. without more anesthesia so the farrier can hopefully get his feet done. Yeah, clearly. Of course, the most urgent of which was uh, his castration. And we were very intentional really about um, doing his feet while he was down, uh, knowing that it would be painful for him to raise his back legs. And, and so you see these irregularities here where his where there's sores in his mouth yeah. from his teeth having yeah. these sharp points yeah, here and just, here. He had some ulcers on the inside of his mouth and he wasn't able to actually chew his food properly. And yeah. So we are Do going to, to in there, honey, let in Dr. Rathfelder get to work and start grinding those teeth okay. down. The big white elephant in the room was Mikel's eye. Oh, yeah, uh, right. But you guys are here for him, mm. he's adjusted. Right. And right now looking at how the eye looks, I wouldn't take it out. Oh, okay, good. Great. Mikkel was starting to act and feel safe. I've never known a horse before that came in so damaged, so stoic, um, and a few months later to be playful, cheerful, wanting to engage, and he has a best friend, a mini mule, who also is blind in his left eye, Cactus Jack. Mikel is a 27-year-old geriatric horse. He has finally found his home. 